Beautiful viewers, welcome to the concluding episode of Healing Through Hypnosis and Past Life Regression Therapy featuring Stephanie Risley. Stephanie is a certified hypnotherapist with more than 30 years of experience, a past life regression therapist and the author of Love from Both Sides. On today's program, Stephanie explains the brain's various levels of consciousness. It's in the deepest state, called Theta, that we can access our unconscious beliefs. Stephanie helps clients reach the Theta state through hypnosis. So there's many levels of consciousness. I'm talking in, and I'm in Beta, you're listening, I'm talking, that's Beta. Then Alpha, Alpha wave is a slower wave. Um, and that happens when you're driving and you're thinking about something and you miss your exit on the freeway or you get to where you're going and you go, how did I get here? Um, and then theta happens when you're engrossed in a, uh, a movie, for instance, you're in the movie and you go, oh, you know, that, then that's theta. I get you into a very deep theta state by it's progressive relaxation and who can benefit from it well anybody can benefit from it you have to be open to wanting to release relax let go people who don't want to be hypnotized cannot be hypnotized you have to want to be hypnotized and then i can hypnotize you Stephanie uses hypnotherapy to help her clients lose weight, stop smoking, or eliminate obsessive thought patterns that create anxiety and anger. She starts by encouraging them to improve their physical health. So I mostly I hypnotize people into taking extreme care of themselves. The kind of hypnosis I do is about taking extreme care of this instrument, knowing that the soul isn't out there. The soul, you are a soul who's on the planet earth here to do a good job. I have some clients who'll come in a hundred pounds overweight and they go, I don't need to have a good body because I'm, I'm a spiritual person. I go, and I go, sweetheart, your soul does not want to carry around a hundred extra pounds. Let me give you a hundred extra pounds and you walk up the stairs with it. So you're not doing yourself any, any, any benefit here. You want to have as healthy a, a, an instrument as you can so that you can, so that you can live out this lifetime and be as healthy as you can. Why do we do things that make us unhappy, anxious, or fearful? Stephanie explains that such undesirable actions are often driven by our unconscious beliefs. Anybody who wants to change can benefit from hypnosis because it helps you uh, really be aware. I do awareness therapy, cognitive behavior modification, which means I get you to recognize the beliefs, the behaviors, and the um, thought patterns that are sabotaging you. And then we investigate what is the hidden belief that you have? Is it coming that you're not good enough? And why aren't you good enough? You know, so, um, and getting to the point of, of building self-esteem is, is what I get people to do. I mean, if you're feeling that you're not competent enough, well, let's get you to do things that you're proud of. Deep-seated beliefs and habitual thought patterns can sabotage our happiness. Stephanie helps her clients live happier lives by teaching them to reprogram the brain. Okay, so reprogramming the brain is really about giving the client or someone uh, the information that they need to see how their brain functions. So it, it, there are um, there are neural pathways in your your brain. There are are things that can trigger obsessive compulsive disorder. And there's all kinds of obsessive compulsive disorders that you can that you can overcome. You have to kind of understand how the brain functions, what the brain needs. The brain needs fuel, and if you're 
uh, digestive tract is not okay, if you're not eating correctly, then your brain and your nervous system is malfunctioning. And that's why I always start with the body. You can reprogram your brain by looking at the physical things that you're doing and deciding whether you actually want to do those things or whether you don't. Now, if you keep doing the things that you don't want to do, then you can be sure that you have some subconscious, unconscious triggers that are causing you to do those sabotaging things. You can get addicted to smoking. You can get addicted to um, to gambling. The the thing people are addicted to most now is their phone, and that's a very big addiction. So reprogramming is really cognitive behavior modification, awareness therapy, which you become you become aware of what your thoughts are, because what what you choose to think leads directly to what you choose to say to yourself, the inner monologue that goes on all day long. Are you complaining to yourself all day long? If you're complaining to yourself all day long about what is, then you're gonna be in a very bad mood. So you have to be aware of what you're saying to yourself because what you say to yourself leads directly to the actions you choose to take moment by moment. Those actions lead directly to the habits of thinking, habits of doing, habits of believing that are in your brain. And you have to be aware of what those habits are because your habits lead directly to the destiny you will have. So in terms of reprogramming, I get people to understand the actual function of their brain, to see why they're doing what they're doing, to really pay attention to and be aware, it's all awareness therapy, to be aware of their thoughts, their actions, their reactions, and then pull back and from a perspective, decide what it is that you want to do. I've got so many clients that say, I'm here to do big things. And I say, well, let's get the big things chunked down into doable, easily achievable units. So that you can tackle one thing at a time. We'll take a moment now to thank all the kind, compassionate professionals who work diligently to improve the lives of others. We'll be right back after this important message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Honest viewers, welcome back to our program as we continue our discussion with Stephanie Risley. Through hypnotherapy, Stephanie helps clients to improve their relationships with others. Hypnosis can benefit anybody. Hypnosis, hypnotherapy, which is what I do, it's a process of getting you to understand your brain, first of all. Getting understand what is fixable and what is not what you can change and what you can't. Because if some things can't be changed, we all like to live in, in groups of family constellations. And that's kind of the way tribes come up. And that's why people in your family can drive you nuts. Because <laughs> you're in this tribal constellation and you have to work it out with them. So you have to go and find a way to accept who they are and not expect them to be who they're not. I mean, that's one of the things with getting along with everybody, especially in male and female relationships. Accept who people are and not ex expect them to be other people. How can each of us live a happier life? Stephanie believes we are happier when we are in alignment with our life's mission, with what we've come here to do. What you want to ask yourself is, how can I serve? How can I serve? So when people come to me and they're lost, it's a process of one, getting people to take extreme care of them, their own selves so that you can, so that you can show up. So if you're drinking, stop drinking. If, um, so coaching people is getting them to express, to understand what they were here to do. Are you a teacher, a healer, leader, warrior? 
I'm a warrior soul, but I don't, but I'm also a teacher soul. I'm a healer soul. So there's not just one thing in this lifetime. I've done many different things. Now I'm being a healer uh, and that's fine. I love what I do. So with, when the, uh, when clients come, I get them to see from a different perspective. They do a past life regression, and then they see that they're teachers, healers, and I go, well, what are, you, what are you here to teach? A lot of the time, I'm here to teach love. I'm here to teach compassion. I'm here to teach forgiveness. They'll have a theme. The Dalai Lama says, you know, we're only on the planet for 80 or 90 years. And if in that time you can find a way to make other people happy, then you have found the, the way to create your own happiness. Because it's in, in doing the work that you, can, that you can do to make the world a little better. You wanna leave the world a little better off than you found it. Not everybody needs to be famous, not everybody needs to uh, do big things. If you can just be nice to the mailman, the people who, uh, you know, at the, the 99 cent store, uh, the people who are having a bad day and kind of come from the place of, we're all here to just be nice to each other. Many thanks, Stephanie Risley, for uplifting the spirits of those you serve. May you be abundantly blessed for improving the lives of others. Open-hearted viewers, thank you for joining us today.